Testing, testing, one, two, three, one, two, three. This is the sound test. Hello, can you hear me? Is there anybody out there? I want to start this video, so I need to make sure that this USB microphone operates. Let's begin. Hi everyone, welcome to a new video by Original Video Reviews, I'm the OVR guy and as you can see we have here a new package. As always we're going to find out together what's inside and how to use this thing. So let's not waste any time, let me grab the Swiss knife. Here's the Swiss knife and we're going to unpackage it. Well, boys and girls, what we have here is a USB condenser microphone from the Amazon Basic Series. It reminds a lot the Yeti Blue, which I also have one, but this one is cheaper. The question is, does it offer a good alternative to the Yeti Blue? Well, in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything that you should know about this microphone. Plus, I'm gonna do a sound test so you'll know how this microphone sounds like. And in the end of this video, I will give you my honest opinion about this microphone. Please note that in addition to this video, I'm gonna upload another one that offers a comparison between this microphone and the Yeti Blue. Let's go over the specifications of this microphone. The overall weight of the microphone is 1 kilo and 15 grams. Its dimensions are 110 on 73 on 285 millimeter. It is a condenser capsule type microphone. The palo pattern is cardioid, stereo, omnidirectional or bidirectional, depends on the mode you're gonna choose. The microphone sample rate is 96 kHz at 24 bit. The headphone sample rate is 48 kHz at 16 bit. And the frequency response is between 20 Hz to 20 kHz. The microphone sensitivity is between minus 45 decibels to minus 3 decibels at 1 kHz. At the front of the microphone you can see the following. At the top you can see four recording mode indicators. This is the recording mode key to switch between each of the recording modes. That's the mute LED indicator. These are the volume control keys for the microphone and that's the microphone's mute key. When pressing on it the mute LED indicator will turn on. These keys will allow you to control the headphone's volume level. You can use headphones with this microphone, just plug them into this 3.5mm headphones jack. At the back of the microphone you can see the micro USB socket to power the microphone and connect it to your computer. Its power supply is 5 volts 200 milliampere. The length of the USB cable is 1.5 meters. I was a bit surprised but this was a good surprise because I managed to use a normal micro USB cable instead of the one that was supplied with the package. And basically you can use a normal micro USB to USB cable with this microphone. This microphone is a plug and play device. Once the microphone is ready for use, it should appear on your computer like this. You should know that this microphone is compatible with both Windows and Mac OS computers. The microphone's angle can be rotated to modify the angle at which the microphone rests. Loosen the knobs on the support arms by turning them counterclockwise. Set the microphone at the desired angle and tighten the knobs again by turning them clockwise. I was surprised to learn that you can adjust the height of this microphone, the stem of the microphone can be extended up to 40 millimeters. To do that, loosen the collar on the stem by turning it in a counterclockwise direction, set the microphone at the desired height and tighten the collar again by turning it in a clockwise direction. Now I would like to demonstrate you how this microphone sounds like, so let's switch to the sound test. Let's review the recording modes from left to right. Hi everyone, this is a sound test. Right now I'm using this USB microphone by Amazon Basics and this is the cardioid mode. This is the first mode that records sound sources that are directly in front of the microphone and dismisses unwanted ambient sound from the sides. This mode is ideal for recording podcasts, talks or game streaming. Hi everyone, right now I'm using the omnidirectional mode, this is the second mode in this microphone and the omnidirectional mode 
picks up sound from all directions of the microphone. So basically if I take sound from here or from here or from here, the sound is identical from all over the microphone. This mode is ideal for situations in which you want to capture the full unadulterated sound of a space without aiming at a particular sound source. Hi everyone, right now this microphone is set on bi-directional mode. This bi-directional mode records mainly sound coming from the front of the microphone and the rear of the microphone. It is less sensitive to sound coming from the sides of the microphone. It is ideal for capturing the sound of a single musical instrument or recording an interview between two people. Hi everyone, right now I've set this microphone on stereo mode, the fourth and last mode this microphone can offer. Stereo mode uses both the left and right channels and it's ideal for capturing a realistic rich stereo field. It is ideal for recording more than one instrument at the same time and I hope you can have an indication how it sounds like while I'm talking to you. Well, I think we heard enough for today, so let's go to the bottom line. Overall, I didn't expect this microphone to be that good. The build quality is excellent and the audio quality, well, you heard it in this video, not bad, right? So let's face it, this microphone is supposed to compete with the Yeti Blue and it does a good job. You didn't see that coming, right? And I say that as someone who really likes the Yeti Blue. So if you manage to find this microphone on sale, don't hesitate and get it. Trust me, you'll be more than happy about it. Well boys and girls, this was my video review of the Amazon Basics Professional USB Condenser Microphone. For more details about it, please check the description to the video. If you still have any questions, leave a comment and I will do my best to come up with an answer. If this video review was helpful and you enjoyed watching it, I invite you to give it a like. Also, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channels follow me on the social networks and visit my website originalvideoreviews.com. I would like to thank you for watching another great video by Original Video Reviews. Until next time, bye bye!